Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has urged the country to switch off their lights on Sunday and light a candle or lamp for nine minutes to show solidarity. He also acknowledged the hardships caused by the three-week lockdown, especially on the poor and migrant workers. Joyce Corona Sankar se sabse jada prabhavit hai. Hamare garib bhai bhai unhe Corona Sankar se paida hui nirasa se aasha ki tarap le jana hai. इस कोरोना संकट से जो अंधकार और अनिश्चितता पैदा हुई है उसे समाप्त करके हमें उजाले और निश्चितता की तरफ बढ़ना In the northern state of Uttar Pradesh long lines have been forming the poorer parts of India's 1.3 billion population depend on charities and authorities for food. With a rapid increase in infections, the World Bank has approved some $1 billion worth of emergency aid to India. Neha Punia with more. And the sense from the World Bank is that it wants India to use this money uh, to conduct uh, contact tracing, to ramp up testing, uh, to procure more protective gear for its medical staff and to build isolation wards. Now these are all concerns that are valid for India. In the last few days the government has said it is planning to import more protective gear uh, from countries uh, like uh, Malaysia and other countries in uh, the ASEAN region. It's also spoken of uh, preparing railway coaches to use as isolation centers and um the worry with the healthcare setup in India is that uh, it is underfunded and overstretched. Uh, ordinarily, the Indian government spends less than 4% of its trillion dollar GDP on public healthcare, which is used by a majority of the country's population. Uh, estimates tell us that there aren't enough doctors for every Indian who might fall sick, and uh, there are just about 40,000 ventilators in the country, uh, where there are 1.3 billion people. And if uh, estimates done by the government's uh, own uh, departments prove right, India could have nearly 1 million people are going to hospitals by May if this current outbreak trajectory continues. So it is important that India uses this money uh, to ramp up its health care facilities and that's what the government says it is planning to do but uh, it's understood that more money from the World Bank might be coming in the days ahead.